Hi family, we're here at Israel and it is amazing. It's the first time that I've been here and I hope that you all get to be here too. But I just wanted to share a couple of thoughts with you and things that God is really speaking to me from myself, but for you as well. And as we walked the streets of Jerusalem, I was really aware of the echoes of Jesus. And what are the echoes of Jesus? The echoes of his voice, his teaching, his prophecies, his words of healing and life and encouragement to those with him, speaking to the disciples, speaking to those in the temple, even the, the echoes of, um, if you will, his, his fragrance is what captivated me in the streets of Jerusalem. And it's so busy, it's so hot, and so much of life going on. But then we come here to Galilee and we arrived last night and um, look behind me, it, I mean, it's, it's calm, it's still, but it's really warm. Um, but all I could see here was Jesus' face, his reflection, the reflection of his face uncovered on the water, on the mountains, and every place that I looked as we were out on the, the lake behind me. And I felt the Lord say um, to us today, don't just seek my face, but see my face, look, on my face, look into my eyes. And there's a real depth that the Lord wants us to have of eye to eye, face to face relationship with him. And it's not like seek his face and oh, I see his face and that's it. But there is something of a depth and a gazing on his face and seeing his face in a fresh way today. So I just wanna loose by impartation that which the Lord showed me today on, on this boat at the Sea of Galilee of his face, that you would truly see it, that you would truly know it and that you would allow him to look in your eyes. Cause when he looks at you, you are transformed, we are transformed and there is such a sense of in this nation when you read uh, from Genesis 32 that the Lord himself decided to hide his face from a nation and a people group that we as those who see him with unveiled faces have this opportunity to see him to know him and to gaze on his face so I just encourage you don't just seek it but see his face today and take time to gaze bless you from Galilee